Watashi ne Tenshi ga Mayorita is about a college student whose little sister brings home a friend. They're both in elementary school, and she becomes infatuated with her little sister's friend. The show itself is a moe comedy, which usually bases its humor on the either the main character's behavior or her severe social anxiety, while also sprinkling in images of little girls dressed in cute outfits. I think we should probably talk about the elephant in the room, the initial premise. Now, I don't have anything against Lolicon content, because there's, of course, a division between fiction and reality, and at the end of the day, the characters in anime and manga are just drawings or computer-created. But when you're talking about characters interacting with each other in the world of the setting of the anime or manga, that's when things get a little weirder. Because it's not necessarily them being a lolicon as them being a pedophile. The main character in this is uh, feelings towards the little girl are a little unclear and kind of inconsistent. Sometimes they're just a sort of like appreciation for her like general cuteness. And sometimes they seem to almost like delve into like romantic affection. And on a time or two, it seems vaguely sexual. The main character is not written consistently enough that you can necessarily take offense to her because she's basically her feelings more reflect whatever is required for the joke at the time. The show itself is also very light on fan service. There's there's actually not really any fan service in this. It is very wholesome, and uh, the, the characters remain very close. They're never really in any pervy situations. So the strange vibes mostly come from the protagonist herself, and she's not usually very offensive, but the subject matter in itself, while partially not being made clear enough by the creators in the first place, does generally color the rest of the show. The humor in the show did have me laughing a good number of times, although I wouldn't go so far as to say I was cracking up constantly and that it was hysterical. But a good number of jokes did land, and I did find it pretty funny. The characters themselves are also pretty adorable in a purely wholesome and innocent way. As I said, it doesn't really delve into the fan service. Wata 10 is an enjoyable show. There's just a little twinge of oddity to it that kind of vaguely taints the rest of the experience. But all in all, it is enjoyable. Twitch and Discord in the description. I've been Sacrabolic, your Envoy of Hope. Bye-bye!